Hey guys, Parker here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Necrochasm's little brother. I tried recording a video with it over the weekend, didn't work out very well, servers were a mess. Obviously, I couldn't record it over the weekend, you guys know the bug was running rampant. And then I tried to record it on Monday, and it got confirmed that the servers were being DDoSed, so that's why I didn't get to record a video Monday. But hey, let's see what we can do today. I've never done this before, but I donated to the Bungie charity, and I received this emblem, look up. I thought it was cute, reminded me of the Disney movie Up. And then with the purchase sale, also got this space witch emblem which i haven't seen anyone running either i know the maui one just came out so i have some people with the maui emblem and i think it's really cool that bungie does that you get to donate money and through a good cause and you get a little something back there we go somebody in the game has the maui one so get to show that off as well i don't want to butcher it but it's the edelon ally hope that's right if it's not whatever it's basically the necrochasm without the purr to blow up after kill i heard people say it's a decent auto rifle it shoots like 19 or 20 to the head i'm a big auto rifle enjoyer rufus my favorite gun in the entire game the perks are disabled right now for crafted weapons so rufus is not hitting like he usually does it was so weird i went into an activity yesterday and i was using my z-bane Oh, here we go. I was using my Z-Vane and the perks weren't working. I'm like, oh no, what the? My Z-Vane wasn't exploding anyone. And I'm like, uh, what's going on? But then I looked it up on Twitter and perks were disabled. That was funny. One thing this thing does not have is range. So I'm trying to kind of... It's not the effective range of this thing. This thing reloads quick. I think it has a reload masterwork. Feels good. Yeah, this thing feels good. I'm really excited to get the Necrochasm. I know there were some changes coming out to make it so it was easier for people that didn't get to do it on contest mode, aka me, to get the souls. I think you get guaranteed souls and you have a better chance when you're killing Crota, which is nice because I've killed Crota, I think, like 30 times now and I have 10. I think it would be cool if they implement a system like if you're doing a Sherpa run or you get like a higher chance, but what do I know? I just play the game. I don't design it. I don't know how hard it is for them to implement that. It's also thinking about uploading a different type of video. I know I post all Destiny, but I don't know if I want to live and die on the hill of Destiny because, you know, this game disappoints content-wise most of the time. This season's been good. I've liked the amount of content we've got, but it could very easily kind of switch back to what it was where there's some dull seasons. That is not the effective range of this gun. I know Payday 3 comes out soon. I might buy that. It's only $40. I played a lot of Payday 2. Enemy has advantage. Not sure what his plan was. And Payday 3 just looks kind of more of the same, which is nice. I didn't really want them to switch anything crazy. I've never liked the Heritage, but this guy is killing me with it all the time. <laughs> thank you yeah payday 3 is coming out soon i might purchase that i saw a little indie game that was piquing my interest too i'm not sure if i'll buy it that guy kept killing me i just had the super room you know, this gun does get the head rush per, so it does kind of have the same necrochasm killing ability, but you gotta work for it. Like, a little indie game came out that was interesting that I was like, oh, I could record on that. I don't think anyone else is gonna be. And other than kind of doing my resets of Crota's End once a week, like, there's not a lot of Destiny stuff I'm doing outside of PvP. It's probably gonna be like that for a little bit. This guy with the heritage is just owning me. What a comeback for the other team. We're not gonna give him a win for free though. Oh, see ya. I really choked this one. I don't know what happened from the beginning of the game to that, but we really choked this one. Pretty solid game. We got eight kills on it, a couple kills with the shotgun whatever we got 25 opponents defeated 1.8 kd 
That's gonna be pretty good. Kinda like it, man. I wish you could shader it. I know, like, it's the necrochasm, so they don't want you being able to shader, like, the necrochasm. But man, if you could put, like, the gold camo on it, ooh, it would be sweet. But this video gets me even more excited to get my hands on the necrochasm. I know the rates for the cores are going up. I wasn't able to play after contest mode to get it. And also, I still don't have the auto rifle from the raid. I don't know how unlikely that is. I didn't get to craft the Rufus until week six, and we're in week three of Crota, and I still haven't gotten a single auto rifle to drop, which is weird because, you know, auto rifles are my favorite, so the game decided, hey, let's not give them an auto rifle. So, it is what it is. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I appreciate all the likes and subscribers. As always, what are you doing here? I was actually ending my recording right now. I was saying bye right now. No, wait, bye. I forgot I was in here. Put that in the video. Bye. Have a good day. Bye-bye.